Hey dudes and dudettes, are you having trouble relinking your media in DaVinci Resolve? Well today we're going to take you from relinking schmo to relinking pro. So let's get into it. So if your timeline looks like this, it's fair to say that things aren't good. But don't stress mate, here's a simple solution. There's a new button in the top left of the screen. It looks like a chain link, and it can be found in both the cut and edit pages. When you click this relink button, this menu will appear. And here, Resolve will tell you how many of your clips are now offline and need to be reconnected. Now, all we need to do is point Resolve in the right direction of where the clips cached or optimized media is located. If you don't know where the footage is located, then you can choose to do a disk search. But the larger your system is, the longer this will take. Mine is 160 terabytes, so I don't use this method unless I'm in a complete bind. The reason why is this method is a deep search of everything in your system and it burns a lot of time. So I would recommend that you choose locate, then steer resolve to the directory you think the files may be in. In this instance, I know my media files are here on this drive, as I have a very set way of setting up my projects in resolve, and I never put or use footage from the wrong directory into projects. But still, sometimes Resolve will just have a conniption and you just need to jog its memory a little bit. So I'm going to click on Open and Resolve will now scan this folder for files, folders, time codes, and reels. But it will all depend on what you have activated in the original project file. And boom, look at that. Resolve has resolved our issue. Now you can also relink media from the media page by right clicking on the selected clips you wish to link Go to Relink Media, find the media's location in your media storage, then click Open and Resolve will scan that location for files. This method works best when you know or have a rough idea of where the missing files are located. But what do you do if there's like a massive amount of missing clips? Well, you can highlight them all, right click and then click Relink Media and just go through the same process. Or you can create a smart bin to show all your footage in the project. The best thing about using this method is that you only have to set it up once in one project in your database ever. You do this by right clicking in the smart bin location here, then choose add smart bin, name your smart bin. I called mine project brushes because that's what they are. Now to see this folder in every project, click this checkbox here. Once activated, this smart bin will now appear in every resolve project in your database. Click create. Now we have our footage showing down here instead of up here in separate folders. So on a finder level, you can see for this tutorial, the media once lived in this folder, but I copied the media to another drive and another folder name over here in this separate drive. This is akin to changing project computer systems, which is the most difficult edit share of all without using a Postgres SQL. If you'd like to know how to do this safely, you can watch my other video up here on databases. Okay, to relink the media, we're going to do Command A to select all clips in the folder. Right click as before, go to Relink Media. Let's find our new source folder. Click Open and Resolve will again scan that folder for all the clips. You could also select all the clips, right click, then choose Change Source Folder. Then guide Resolve to the new source folder and achieve the same result. The difference is that changing the source folder will ask you where the media used to live. But this method may not always be as effective as you may not have the original source folder or disk on hand. This is why I prefer creating a smart bin to show all the footage and then relink the media in this way. But you may not be like me and prefer not to use smart bins, but that's okay each to their own. So that leaves us with a question, how do we relink an entire bin? If you need to relink an entire bin, Right click on the bin and then choose relink clips or selected bin. Now find where the media is located and hit open. And voila, there you have it. All of your media is now relinked within the project and you are now relinking pro. See, I told you it was easy once you knew how. Okay dudes, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.